Hello and welcome. If you are looking for the before the pen where you see me, how I created this layout, how I set it up, um, that is a separate video which will be linked in the eye above and also in the description box. So this is the actual plan with me where I'm going to sit down and plan out my week. Um, like I said in the before the pen, you know, I've seen a lot of people saying, yeah, it's nice to see stickers and stuff, but I want to see how you actually use your planner, how you plan. Um, and I'm planning on doing some videos soon, like midweek. So where we'll get to like Wednesday or Thursday, you know, and just kind of see like how I'm using the planner for the week, be very transparent and honest. Um, because last week I was having a really tough week uh, mentally and I just had some stuff going on and I wasn't feeling well and I didn't use my planner in the way that I had intended to. Um, I just didn't use it as much as I had wanted to originally just because of some things that happened. That's real life. I want you guys to see that. Um, I want you to see when I have an appointment on Monday and then it gets canceled, what I do in the planner. Do I just, do I mark it out? Do I write something by it? What do I do? So I'm, that's going to be coming soon. I hope you guys will enjoy that because I just want to show, you know, what it's like to be a real planner babe. It's not all pretty Instagram photos. Sometimes, you know, things happen and, uh, sometimes you mess up in your handwriting or whatever. So, all right. So if you have seen a plan with me before, you know, this is kind of how I've always done it. Um, I keep my Google calendar on my phone, which has all my appointments for the week and important things um, that I add like from email and stuff. Um, and if you're wondering why I use Google Calendar as well as a paper planner, I actually have a video on that and I will link that also in the I and also um, in the description box. A lot of people have asked that before. But anyway, so um, this is what was in the Google Calendar for this week. And so I put it all on a sheet of paper and now I'm just gonna start actually planning. So you'll see I have a few things going on for this week. Um, I do have a Zoom training on Monday. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. That's for 2 p.m. So I'm going to, I'm just gonna do this. 2 p.m. I do my PMs like that because I follow AP style for work. So that's just, that's why I do the lowercase with the periods in case you're wondering. <laughs> um, S C 100. Training. And I always struggle with like, do I write via Zoom? Isn't that kind of obvious at this point? I'm not gonna write. Okay, so Tuesday, I have something that may or may not happen because the weather forecast is kind of up in the air and it involves me taking photos outside. So for Tuesday, um, I'm thinking about using a sticky note for that appointment because if it moves, then I can just peel it up. I could always use an erasable pen Maybe I'll do that. I haven't used an erasable pen in a little bit. Currently the only one I have is this purple one, but it kind of goes, right? So I'm going to write... All right. So that will be on hold because I'm not sure if that's happening yet because apparently there is like a nor'easter coming through. So yeah, of course it is, 2020. Now I do know that I have a staff meeting at 2.30, so I will do... And then Wednesday, I have another meeting. Man, I'm going to have to put makeup on, like, every day next week. All right. <laughs> so, 3 p.m. Okay. 
Okay. And then Thursday. This isn't an appointment, but it's just something I want to make note of. Um, that is the paper that I write a column in about video games. You can read it online. I actually have the link in my, um, the link tree that's in the description box. There's a link to it. Uh, it's called Play, if you'd like to check it out. But the, um, that will come out. There's a physical paper as well. And then the article will go up Thursday because it is a monthly paper this year just because of COVID. And Friday, I don't have anything. So I'm going to keep that open for now. And then Saturday, I have therapy appointment so this sticker is kind of badly placed isn't it <laughs> probably should have done that yeah I'm just gonna peel it up okay we're just gonna just gonna toss that I could have salvaged it but it's it's fine okay so 2 p.m. Okay, and then Sunday I don't have anything either. So, as far as actual, like, appointments, that is what I have going on. Um, and I do leave room, like, if there's things that come up that are um, things I need to get done on a specific day, I will write them in on that day. If something else comes up, something I need to do, I'll put it in. Um, I currently, I left this little area blank because I want to fill it in with, like, a a memorable quote or something from the week so I'm gonna leave that blank for now and then as it the week actually happens and you know something comes up maybe I hear a quote um, that I would like to remember or something that just resonates with me or song lyric or anything I'll put it right there so I'm gonna set this to the side and now we have this so um, the left side of the spread. So I am going to use this for um, to do's, high priority tasks that need to be done. And so when I sit down the plan, I'll say, okay, is there anything that I know I need to get done next week that's not tied to a specific day? So like if there's something like last week, it was I need to clean the dishwasher. I need to use the dishwasher cleaner um, and be an adult and do that. So <laughs> I had that written in my to do's rather than in on a specific day. Cause it didn't really matter which day I did it. I just knew I needed to do it. Right. So I'm trying to think if there's anything next week that I know I need to do besides just those appointments that I have. Um, I mean, I really, I mean, this is going to sound stupid, but I need to start, <laughs> I need to start Ghost of Tsushima, okay? I, I haven't even played it yet. I know, I know, it's embarrassing. But I need to do that, but I'm not gonna put that on there because that's kind of silly. I'm, I'm gonna put it in the brain dump. Um, and yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do just an ellipsis here. And this will be just brain dump area. And I already put a game controller there, so. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be random to do, so this will be blank. I can't really think of anything right now that it's like, oh my god, I need to get this done. Um, but things, typically, that's something that just comes up throughout the week and I'll jot it in. Um, well, there is one thing. So here, let's do this. Um, should I do bullets or should I do... I'm gonna do little boxes. So since I am going to like physically going to work one day next week, not sure um, if it's gonna be Tuesday or if it's gonna be Thursday or Friday again just depending on the weather, but I know one day I'm gonna go and there are things in my office that I have been missing and wanting and I have not been in my office at work since March, which is crazy to think. Um, so I need to bring home certain things. I can't really think off the top of my head like 
anything specifically that I want other than I have some micro happy notes there. I have, you know, a bunch of pens, a bunch of ink joy gels, a bunch of um, like sticky notes, and like my personal stuff that I had brought to my office at work because I was using it every day at work, but now I'm working at home, so all that stuff is sitting over there. So I'm just gonna say, um, Bring home um <laughs> I don't want to say stuff, but um you know what? That's what it is. Stuff from office. And I know once I get there I'm gonna see things and be like, oh yeah, that I need that or I know there's a pair of shoes there that I've been looking for. <laughs> so, yeah, that's one thing. Um, brain dump, I typically leave, again, like, until the week comes and then I'll use it as a brain dump. But, I kind of want to write in here. I want to write somewhere that I really want to start Ghost of Tsushima. Okay, you know what? It is important. And you might think it's silly. I don't have a lot going on in my life right now. So this is important. <laughs> We're going to say start. <laughs> Ghost. Yeah, almost ran out of room. Okay. Start. That's the keyword. Um, I get really overwhelmed with big open world games because I just know it's going to be a big like time suck and a big commitment. I don't know why I'm so like hesitant to start. It's the same with like TV series where I'm like, you know, people have been telling me to watch um, that Netflix show Dead to Me for like months now. I haven't even started. I haven't even watched one episode. And there's something about like starting new things that just bothers me. And I, I saw something on Facebook once that said, you know, um, that people with anxiety a lot of the time have a hard time starting new things because, and they watch and listen to the same stuff over and over because those things bring them comfort. They already know they like them. When it comes to starting something new, it's like, it is a level of anxiety of like, am I going to like this? Is this going to be a waste of time? You know, and I know it sounds silly, but when I saw that, I was like, that is me. Like, 100%. Um, I listen to a lot of the same music all the time, the same albums, watch the same shows, watch the same movies, play the same games. And it's hard for me to sit down and hit start on a new game. It is hard. Like, it takes so much. I know, it sounds crazy, but that is a reality for me. So for me to write start, that that's actually huge. So anyway, um, I think that's pretty much it. I can't really think of anything else next week specifically. Um, there are like bills doing things, but if you saw, um, I can't remember which video actually that I mentioned it in, so I'll say it again. Um, I write the bills that are due I write that on the week where I get paid. So I was paid the week before this, so I wrote all the bills due on that spread and not on this one because I pay everything all at once, so there's no point in writing that this credit card is due because it's already paid. That's just how I do it. So yeah, um, now what we're gonna do, get ready for this, y'all. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. You kidding? So, um, <laughs> this is freaking beautiful. Um, I got in the mail my first cloth and paper order, which I, was just two things. I got this, it's called a glass plastic cover and it's front and back. Oh my God. I'm so excited. So this side is more like matte and like frosted I guess you would call it and this side is like really shiny so 
to me, I would think that you could flip it around if you would like, like if you wanted the shiny side on the outside. But I like the way it looked better like this. And it stayed plain for about two minutes. And <laughs> then I was looking through my, um, my decals and I remembered that I had these that I needed to put somewhere and I ran out of room on my my um, cup that I use and I have all kinds of stickers on it and I thought it would look really cool in here and I love the way it looks. So I'm pretty much in love with it. Um, it does show fingerprints which I'm noticing now but that is okay. So does pretty much everything. So I can just wipe that down. I think this side shows a lot more. Yeah. Actually, I have a cloth right here. There's one of my hairs. anyway uh yeah pretty much obsessed with this and i have a um a cover coming like a not a cover a pouch i'm a little nervous that it's not going to fit because i did order it you know size for classic hp or a you know nine disc disc bound planner um but i'm a little worried that with the expander discs and also with like the cover being, I mean, it's pretty much the same size as a, anyway, I'm just a little bit concerned that it's not going to fit fully in the pouch, but we will see. It is on the way. It should be here, um, sometime this week. It's kind of, I mean, not really. I was going to say it's kind of like this pen case, but much bigger, obviously, but it's like crocheted. Um, Planner Babe Brooke had an affiliate link and I saw it and I was like, that would be perfect. So anyway, that's a total tangent. So I have this from Jane's Agenda. I love to layer things. So I've got this, um, you know, layered on here. God, that looks so freaking cool. It's like see-through. See how it's like... So if you watched the before the pen for this spread, um, I explained that what I do for, you know, when I'm changing up the paper for these like Bujo spreads, what I'm going to do, I'm just out right now. Um, I just take a tape runner and just do it here and I kind of make sure to get the little divots here where it's punched and I will just um, glue it together. And I can see that I'm going to need to trim that because you can see that this paper is actually a little bit longer even though I have not touched it. It's for the same size planner. I don't understand why it's longer, but I am going to need to trim that. It could just be because it's older. This is really old grid paper, like really old. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And then this will just be together like that and you'll just flip through. That's what I did for... Let's go back and look here. I need to do it for this as well. But that's what I did for this one. So you'll see I had the plain paper here with the purple and then I used dot grid. So then I also did that here where I had the plain paper and then on the other side it's the yellow paper. Um, and I just glue it together and you know eventually I would like to not have to do that um <laughs> i would like to have paper where it's just a little bit thicker and nicer and i can actually use both sides of it but um and for this one i probably could i mean you, you can't really see it too much but i also like to just change the type of paper that i'm using every now and then so we'll see what i end up doing um i do want to order some new paper but i just haven't done it yet so anyway that is all she wrote. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little, little baby play with me. Not too much going on, but, um, 
Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you next time.